All right, hi everyone. Uh, welcome again. Today we're, we're going to do is we're going to work on exponents and logs. Okay, exponents and logs. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's review what exponents are. If I see 3 to the 4th power, that's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which gives us 81, right? Now, the question that we, we have in algebra is, what if I don't know the exponent? What if I wrote 3 to the x power is equal to 81? Well, duh, I just said 3 to the 4th power. So x is equal to 4. Now, oftentimes we figure this out by just guessing a number. We just keep trying. We just keep multiplying. If I ask you, uh, what is 2 to the what power is 32? Most of you guys don't know it's 5 already, but you start multiplying. You say 2 times 2 is 4, and then times 2 is 8, then times 2, right, is 16, and then times 2 is 32. Wow, we finally got there after 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2's. X is 5. Now, we can't do this in like an algebraic way. There isn't like a 2 to the X like on algebra one way where you say, oh, just divide by 2 on both sides. But you can't divide 2 here. If you actually did this, this would be rewritten as 2 to the x divided by, uh, sorry, let's rewrite it as times 2 to the negative 1 power is equal to 16, okay? So that's 2, two to the x minus 1 is 16. That's not helpful at all, okay? Um, you can't subtract it, they wouldn't be like terms. So we're stuck and we are kind of in the limbo here. Till we learned about logs. And that's what the key thing about logs are. Logs solve for exponents. Now let's go ahead and start with our most basic log. And that's called a common log. Now, if you guys have a calculator with you, if you guys can go find a calculator, a scientific calculator, I want you oh, to man. type this. You're yeah. going to type log log base 10 of 100 is equal to. So if you guys have a calculator, if you guys can find that base 10, or sometimes they'll write it as just a common log, which is just a log with nothing in it. Now, me writing nothing in it by default, by default, means 10, right? That's going to be an invisible 10. That's an invisible 10. So what is this equal to? If you guys have all your calculators and you type log uh, of 100, this gives you the answer 2. That's 2. And why is it 2? It's because logs solve for exponents. Now let's see how we, we work this out. Now I sing a dumb song and I call it the circle of logs is 10 to the second power is 100. That's how we can read logs. Logs take your base number and say, hey, what exponent would it be to give me 100? Well, that answer, log solve for exponents, the answer is 2 here. If I want to rewrite this in the log version, I'm saying, hey, 10 to, sorry, an exponent version, 10 to what exponent is 100? And log, solve for this. We write this as log base 10. Let me use some colors here. We always put the base on the bottom. Here's my base. We're right at the bottom. Here's my base. Write a 10 there. Our answer, take a look. Here's my answer here. 100. Oops, let's use a different color. 100. We'll write 100 there is equal to our exponent. So hopefully you're not colorblind like me. You can see the difference here and x. And that's that's our basic idea of how we write. And I'll give you guys some more examples here. But is it true that 10 squared is 100? Yeah. Logs solve for exponents. And we can use our calculator to really do most of that legwork for us. Now, let's, let's try this again. If I say log base 10, which is your calculator log that you guys have, of, let's say, 1,000, how many times would I have to multiply 10 by 
to give me 1000. And that's my circle of logs 10 to the third power. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this on my graphing calculator, uh, my, not my graphing calculator, my cheap calculator here on my iPad. You'll find my log button right here and you'll see a log base 10. So if I write, the way I would type this on my calculator, because I always have to write my numbers first, 1000. And if I had log base 10, that's going to tell me 3, because that's the exponent I would need of 10. 10 to the third power is 1000. But what if it was a different number? In this case, if you take a look here, do you see how there's a 2 here? Let's use this example. 2 to what power is 8? Okay, 2 to what power is 8? So to rewrite this in log form, log base 2 of 8 is equal to x. Now why did we write it this way? Because log solve for exponents. And I need to solve for my exponent here. So we can rewrite this log in such a way where my answer is my exponent. So log base 2. So we see a base. That's my base to my answer. Hopefully that doesn't confuse you too much. And we always write it in this pattern. If I use a couple letters, log A, B, wait, actually let's do this with exponents. Um, A to the X power equals to B. Okay. If I rewrite this, it will be log base A of B is equal to X. We're always solving for exponents here. Now, in this case, this calculator actually has a base 2. Most calculators do not have a base 2. But let's do this problem here on the calculator. Since log base 2 is already written, I'm going to type 8. Base 2 is 3. Why is it 3? Because 2 to the third power is equal to 8. Log base 2 of 8 is 3 because circle of logs 2 to the third power is 8. Now, we can write this a couple more times before I teach you guys how to use your calculator on logs that are not obviously 10 and 2. Now, if I give you guys a problem and I say 5 to the x power is 125, you guys probably know the answer is going to be 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 times 5 again is 125. So this is 5 cubed. Great. Awesome. Wonderful. Thanks, Mr. Ko. But the problem is, if I write this in log form, log base 5 of 125 is equal to x. How did I do it so quickly? Remember, we always write log base, that's my base, and this is my answer. And this is my exponent over here, because log solve for exponents. Circle of logs, 5 to the x power is 125. Now the problem is, my calculator cannot do this without me doing some interpretation. Some of you guys who have a $15 calculator, you might have this button where it says log. If you look on your calculator and you see little two blink boxes here, if you have this button on your calculator, wow, you are winning. Because you would type the 5 and the 12, was there 125 into those respective boxes. But in order for us to do this on a majority of calculators, we're going to have to rewrite this and let's go ahead and learn our next thing. It's called a change of base. And the idea is that we can't use 5 as a base and we're going to change the base so we can use it. And we're going to change it to either a base 10 or base E. And we'll talk more about that later. But here we go. Let's do log base. So I want to do log base 5 of 125. And we can't do this. So the change of base rule goes like this. We're going to rewrite this as two separate logs. 125 over log of 5. Now, in actuality, we are changing this to a base of 10. I'll write this really skinny. And there will be an invisible 10 here and 10 here. Which is our what we our calculators use. If you type log 125 over log 5 on your calculator, try it right now. If you don't know, if you're not going to get this answer, it's giving you a weird answer. You're going to have to remember type things in reverse. So on a cheap calculator, a scientific calculator, you're going to type it as this: 125 
log, okay, divided by 5 log. Remember, we're writing our numbers in front of our log, right in front of our log. And then afterwards, uh, you're going to hit equals for me. And that should give you the answer, what? Hopefully, you get the answer, 3. Now, you want to make sure you know how to use your calculator. Everyone's calculators are different. And uh, if we don't practice uh, for sure, we're going to be confused by our own tools. Okay, I'm going to ask you another question here. What is log um, base 2 of 256? Okay, so in this problem here, this problem is rewriting and say, hey, 2 to what exponent is 256? 2 times 2 times 2 times how many times? And you can say 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64, times 2 is 128, times 2 is 256. Of course, we could have done this the classic way, going forever here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 twos. The answer, 2 to the 8 is 256. So our answer here is 8, right? 8. It looks like an upside down 8. Great. But let's do this with the calculator. That's what it's there for. I have to convert this into a change of base, log of 256 divided by log of 2. Let's see if you guys can do this on your calculator and see if you end up with the number 8. I'll give you guys a moment to try that yourselves. I'm going to go ahead and try that on my calculator over here. 256 log divided by 2 log equals and I got the answer 8. Hopefully you got the answer 8 too. Now is this the end all of logs? No, no, no. This is just the ice tip of the iceberg here. We're refreshing our memories on how we change our exponent form to our log form and back. Right. This is our log form up here. This is our exponent form. Being able to switch back and forth with them. And also learning how to use the change of base so that we can type this in the calculator. Why? Because actually most of the times you cannot find the answer to the exponent because it's not a whole number. If I write 2 to the x power is equal to 10, 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16, uh-oh, none of these make 10. So we're stuck between x being anywhere from 3 to 4. So it's going to be 2 to the 3 point something. And that is equal to 8. Now how am I supposed to find that? And that's where our calculator will now give us a really darn good decimal approximation. Let's go ahead and convert this into my log form. Now you can, on your calculator write 2 to the 3.1 3.2, 3.3, I need it better, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, even better. You can keep on going, okay? But my point is to not waste time doing that. We're going to re re rewrite this in our log form. Log, what's my base here? Is the base 2x or 10? Log base 2. Do we write the answer here? Nope, the answer here is the x, what we're solving. We're solving for exponents. Log base 2. 2 to what exponent is 10? Circle of logs. To rewrite this in our calculator, we're going to type log of what? What's on top? Is it 2 or 10? Well, 10 looks like it's on top over log of 2. Type this in your calculator. Let's see what we're going to get. I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys my calculator here. 10 log divided by 2 log. We end up with 3.3219. Let's round off approximately 3.32. Okay. Now I want you guys to check this. Does this is this true? If I wrote 2 to the 
three, two. Is that pretty darn close to 10? And lucky for me on my calculator, I do have exponents looking here. You see I have the X, Y button for me. You guys might have a X to the, um, you might have a something button that's like A to the B power or X to the Y power or box to the box power. Okay, one of these buttons on your calculator. If I type two, X, Y, let me clear this. 2xy 3.32 are we going to get pretty darn close to 10 yeah that's pretty darn close to 10 because of round off error that would round up to 10 oh 9.99 okay. so you guys aren't going to be solving necessarily you guys are going to be rewriting most of the time on your work today it really is just a practice and a reminder of what we did before in algebra 2 uh, to prepare us for us to be able to use logs to now solve for exponents, especially when it's not just as simple as this, where it's just 2 to the x power. Okay, and that's it.